We'll guide you through how to add rolling credits in CapCut. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and open up the project you want to go and add your end credits to. Then what you want to do is come to the end of the timeline like this. And I'm personally just going to go and delete this CapCut ending. So I'll go and tap on it and then press on delete. Now what you want to do is just go and click on the text tool at the bottom. Make sure you haven't got anything selected. If you do, just tap on the back button in the bottom left and then go and click on text. Now you want to click on add text and you can choose the template and things like that. But the main thing you want to do is go and click on enter text and you need to go and enter in your credits. For example, you may want to go and type in credits like this and then put a colon and then you could say put director. Um, and you can go through actors and you know anybody you want to credit, you can go and type in here. After you've finished all of your text, just go above the keyboard and to the right and click on that button there to get out of the keyboard. And then what you want to do is you can go and change the font if you'd like. I'm not going to though, but you can customize it. You want to go to style and just go and make the size smaller as mine is way too big. I want it to be more like that size. And then we can also go and change the color here. I just want it to be white because we're gonna have it on black. And then you can come to the spacing. And so what you can do is change the scale here. You can also go and change the character spacing and also line spacing as well. So go and fully customize it to how you like. You can make it italics, you can add underlines, you know, you can do anything you want. So once you're happy with it and you finish customizing it, click on the tick like so. And then what you want to do is go and have the text ending as soon as the screen goes black. So to do that, you can just hold your finger on it like so, and you can go and drag it. So I want it to start as soon as the video ends, just that's perfect there. And now what we need to do is make it actually scroll. So to do that, you just select the text and then come up to the video preview. And what you want to do is drag it up like so. So I wanna drag it so it's off the screen. And then what you need to do is go to the end of the text. So you may wanna make it a bit longer. I'll make mine around nine seconds, but it will depend on the length. So let me just go and drag this a bit longer like this. After you positioned it, go to the right of the play pause button and you see that diamond icon with a plus button. Click there and that's gonna add a keyframe. Um, and then what you want to do is go to the end of the credits and you probably wanna make them a bit longer as well. I like mine to be around 10 seconds. So let me just drag it out to about here. As I said, come right to the end and then make sure the text is still selected and you want to drag down the text or the credits just like so all the way until they're off the screen and then mine's actually automatically added a keyframe as as you can see we've now got that diamond icon with the minus symbol there and then if I go and play it back you can then go and see the credits go and scroll down so it's that simple guys if you found this guide useful then please leave a like